For three months, I am imprisoned in this cell. Morally, physically, you have done me such harm, I beg you to end it. I cannot support any longer the filth, the lack of care for my body, the disgusting food I am not used to. You cannot degrade a woman like this day after day. And I am here because of a misunderstanding. Do you know what I was truly found guilty of? What they convicted me for? Well, not for espionage, not for spying. But for my lack of shame. I was the daughter of a temple dancer in India. Or perhaps the Indies. My mother had died during childbirth. Or I was rescued by a Scottish lord who married me and then tragically died. I was European, but born in Java. I was half caste. I was pure Indian. Father, why are you taking the twins and not me? I was always your favorite, your little princess. You know it's true. Do you know how I have suffered? You have been away so long. Whilst Mother and I have endured the sideways looks, the snide remarks, the pity. We have all heard of wars. The Boer War, the American War of Independence, the Great War. Not so great for me, for obvious reasons. But have you ever heard of the War of Tights? No? I thought not. There is something I must relate to you, about which rumour has always been rife, and about which I cannot be certain with any real authority. Well, there is no polite or circumspect way to say it. Norman, my son, he died. He was only two years old. You smug-faced crowds with kindling eye Who cheer as soldier lads march by Sneak home Pray you will never know The hell where youth and laughter go